Okay, let us start with um, um, what we're talking about today. Thank you. Um, I'm happy to introduce you to Marco, uh, and we'll talk about uh, ABB Ability Genix um, as a platform solution and how CreateDB was an enabler to that. But maybe introduce yourself here first. Uh, thank you, Christian. Happy to be here. So my name is Marco Sommerberg. I'm part of ABB's global uh, digital organization in the process automation business area. So I'm responsible for our strategy and business development activities, such as leading different uh, strategic uh, partnership uh, programs, and also focused on uh, Genix, which we will talk a little bit more today in the context of CreateDB. Yeah, and I'm Christian. I'm one of the founders of Create, and um, I worked with Marco and his team actually quite a long time now. I'm very happy to, to give some insights what we, have, what we have done here. So how did we prepare this today? Uh, we'll talk basically about what actually Genix is and also give you some insight about CreateDB. And then we talk about um, the requirements and the challenges that had to be solved. And of course then how that happened and what takeaways um, we, we could find. But let's first start with you, Marco, and maybe explaining what um, Genix actually is. Thank you, Christian. So I can give some background and context to this talk. Shortly talk about a little bit ABB in digital and then Genix. So basically, ABB has been uh, investing a lot in digitalization the past few years. We have a large portfolio of different digital solutions and uh, the flagship solution being Genix. So ABB Ability Genix Industrial Analytics and AI Suite. So it's both the platform and application portfolio for plant and enterprise level insights. We launched that uh, roughly three years ago in 2020, and it's for multiple different industries. So we start from, for instance, from pulp and paper, metals, mining, oil, gas, chemicals, power generation, marine ports, and many more industries where we are working with, with Genix. And in a nutshell, we are basically combining the uh, data-centric approach uh, with AIML with our domain knowledge uh, contextualized in the, in the platform and then driving outcomes with our end, end customers with our application portfolio. So starting with the data, basically, typically we've had it at ABB, we focus on the OT data, so data from sensors, devices, DCS automation system, MES systems. And now with Genix, we are expanding to other type of data sources. So for instance, engineering and design data, IT data, but also IT data. So from ERP, CRM systems, for instance. So we are integrating that data with our pre-made uh, adapters. And then with ABB's domain knowledge, operating uh, different uh, decades of, uh, in different industries, we are contextualizing that data in Genix uh, platform. And we have uh, specific industry specific models, specific in industry insights, applications. So we are basically combining the AI ML data centric approach and then the physics based approach. So the best of both worlds. And then we are driving in the end outcomes with our application portfolio. So for instance, focus on asset performance management, process performance management, operational intelligence, and, and then on the sustainability uh, portfolio and value, value drivers to our end, end customers. So, Marco, what's, what's actually a specific example for a use case that you, you deliver on? Yeah, I can maybe give a couple of examples from the, uh, these different uh, value pillars we have. For instance, in the asset performance management, so APM has been a big uh, focus area for us. So there, you probably uh, heard a lot about the predictive maintenance. That's a big thing also for us, basically for both the rotating equipment and electrical equipment. So how can we predict uh, failures before they happen, weeks before they happen, using, for instance, anomaly detection algorithms and so forth, because in our industries, downtime can cost millions. So it's very important for our end customers. So that's definitely one of the major um, Use cases we have also, in general, providing the integration of different data sources, enterprise level insights to certain customers. And then at the same time, we see sustainability trend in most of our customer cases that customers are asking about energy optimization and sustainability reporting kind of, kind of things. So those are in the core of our offering. Thank you. So I would like to give you very briefly an overview of what we are as CreateDB. So CreateDB is the company and we 
build a distributed SQL query engine and database for uh, real-time analytics. We're 10 years in the making now, um, since a lot of years, heavy production loads, billions of row, rows we process every hour. And um, it started really when our technical co-founders were required to scale the largest European social media network at that time from 50 servers to 1,000 servers and from 500,000 users to 20 million users. And the same pattern really applies for industrial data where we focus a lot and this is where we come from. So what's the not so secret special sauce but uh, the unique sauce that we combine? So you, in the core we're a NoSQL document database with Columnar Store and, um, um, and that's really built on... Um, an um, Apache Lucene indexing engine, which gives you full full text search capabilities, and these properties together are already very powerful. Um, the third one we put on top is um, a standard SQL query engine, and in the intersection of these three circles, this is where we are. And what does that deliver? This delivers super high performance on ad hoc queries. You just store data, you don't worry yet how are my queries going to look, which tables and columns I'm going to use. And you combine all types of data. You, you combine relational data, nested JSON documents, um, even blobs, geospatial data, time series data, and have a single solution that it's really powerful um, to store your data and run real-time analytics on it. The simplicity in deploying it lies in its core architecture, which I explain in a moment. It's a shared nothing architecture. Together with this simplicity of just deploying containers uh, with a database, you can use standard SQL. That means you can connect just anything to it, um, in, in including existing applications. In terms of scale, you can start with one node or three nodes and then scale up into hundreds of nodes from gigabytes to petabytes. Um, that's um, another very powerful property. But let's, let's have a look to you, Marco, again on what were the business requirements you had to fulfill. Mm. Yeah, so ob obviously Genix is, uh, consists of multiple different building blocks. Uh, some are in-house, some are external. Then when we look at time series, databases, data storage, and uh, managing the underlying data, we looked uh, what are our requirements and what is in the market. Uh, basically, what we see that there are certain more advanced capability requirements that we see in our analytical uh, use cases compared to more traditional DCS automation use cases and solutions at ABB. So we looked at more bet uh, better capabilities in data aggregation, analysis, but also working with different types of data, so hot data, warm, cold data together. So that's one thing that is perhaps a di little bit different to what we have been traditionally doing at ABB. At the same time, scalability is a big, big focus area for us because our use cases can be very big. With our installed base and industrial customers, it can be hundreds of different assets, it can be multi-site and so forth. So that a key criteria for us and also on the flexible deployment. So we operate in a more, uh, let's say, traditional industry. So there is uh, some customers that are fully on-premise, some customers that are on cloud, some customers that want edge, and everything in between. And there are differences between the industries and ge geographies and customers and even sites. So we need to be able to flexibly work uh, with the different deployment, deployment models here. When, when you talk about scalability, what's, what does it really mean from where to where can this go? Yeah, so basically for scalability, we especially focus on this horizontal scalability. So starting with just a few nodes, but can go to more than 100 nodes in a, in a customer, customer case. So basically, as I was mentioning, that we have a full, full site and enterprise level uh, uh, customer cases where we need to have horizontal scalability and more, more and more nodes added and expanded. Okay, great. So let's talk about how you resolved it. And um, that involves us, fortunately. Um, please give us some insight there. Yes, thanks. So basically, we started looking at what are the different alternatives in the, in the market. Uh, we did the tour analysis of different uh, alternatives. We found that uh, CreateDB was the best fit for our uh, requirements and use cases. So we started first a pilot program with CreateDB. We did a roughly six six month pilot. So started working very collaboratively with their team, and we tried to 
uh, find for our hypothesis and work streams to be able to confirm, confirm those, and we were successful in that. So in the end, then we started expanding. So we started from the Genix platform uh, requirements and use cases, and now we are in the process of expanding to more uh, industrial use cases with, uh, with our end customers, for instance. So that means then uh, customer uh, pilots or production deployments. You see here a couple of examples of uh, different industries we are right, right now working. So marine being, being one, data centers being, being also, also example, and then energy industries such as um, power generation where we work with uh, measurement device, device data with, um, with, with crates. So that's where we are now working together and expanding the use cases. And I mean, you talk about marine. How can I imagine database and marine? How does that work together? Yeah, marine is actually a quite a specific example, a good, a good example where there is a, our customers might have a hundred of different vessels navigating in the seas with limited uh, connectivity. So there we actually need to work quite much with both at the edge and the cloud. So just a few nodes at the, at the edge, at, at the vessel side, but then being able to aggregate all that data in, in the cloud when the connectivity is, 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 is then good. So that's also where we have seen many strengths from the great DB offering, working with different uh, both edge and cloud and how they work together efficiently. Okay, thank you. So let me spend two slides just talking about like the inner workings uh, that enable such use cases. So I mentioned already distributed. So the, the whole point is that CreateDB is in its core, everything is distributed. What do I mean by that? So you have a lot of databases that in the NoSQL space that, for example, do the first search in a cluster in a distributed fashion, leveraging the power of all the nodes. Um, and then the result, like the calculation of the aggregation, is actually happening on the node that asked the question. In the, in the case of Create, also this is fully distributed. So that means you can do complex joins, you can really do complex aggregations with all kinds of SQL functions involved in full text search in a super powerful way. And um, as I pointed out already, we started on day one with using standard SQL. So it's not a SQL-like language, it's really standard ANSI 99 SQL with a Postgres via protocol interface. And what does that mean? If you can see on the screen from the left to the right, you just can connect anything. You, you use your preferred ingest engine, um, I don't know, Kafka, or IoT Hub, or whatever. Um, and then on the other side, you connect any tool that you want. Examples uh, range from visualization tools out of the box, um, AI tools, ML tools, TensorFlow, Zeppelin, Jupyter, R, whatever uh, is required in, in modern use cases now. And you can just rely uh, on a Postgres driver, which nearly any application has now. So how do we enable that? In the core, what you see in the top um, right is essentially a, um, a, a graphic that shows what every node includes. So every node has the same properties. That's called a shared nothing architecture because the nodes do not share anything with each other, meaning they do not depend on each other. This makes it super scalable and also highly reliable. When nodes go down, come back again, um, you don't have a backup, config, data, client node or whatever, everything is one node. And as you grow, you just add nodes or you reduce nodes, that's also possible. And in each node, you have basically the SQL handler that takes the SQL command and makes um, an execution um, from it. Then you have the planner that performs the query in the cluster in its best way. Then you have the cluster state management so taking care about uh, rotating the master in the millisecond and taking care that when nodes die, disks die, memory dies, this doesn't affect the availability of your data and also the performance. And of course, then you have the storage. So the storage gives you like the full spectrum of hot, warm and cold. And you can um, like, you know, in a way like next level data lake, next level data warehouse, um, I would like to describe it, where you just have all the data hot and accessible, and the slower data you just put on very slow disks, but you still have it in access, and you reduce the complexity of shifting data in and out. 
that's, that's really in the core um, of what we enable and of course all the surroundings. Um, and we, we started really page one standard ANSI 99 SQL book and implemented it all through. So it's really not a translation engine to, to SQL, it's really in its core a native uh, SQL engine. Uh, Marco, explain us what was the outcome for you. Yes, we have seen very positive outcomes working with uh, CrateDB uh, in in, with time series databases. So, for instance, this horizontal scalability that has been uh, great for our use cases, so we can add as many nodes as we want. That has been very good. Also, in the ingestion and query throughput, our criteria has been met. It's a good performance there. Also, working with different kind of uh, structured model or non-structured model, multiple different data types has been also very important for us. And... Uh, Good that it has been then confirmed as an outcome uh, with our collaboration. Also being able to work with different multi-platform approaches, a lot of different uh, large volume data sets, like explained also previously. And uh, the data tiering, so we have certain data that we need uh, every day, but then we might have data that is stored for uh, two, uh, multiple, diff multiple years. So being able to efficiently manage and tier data from hot to warm and, and cold and, and rotate as, as needed. So that has been also a very important outcome for, for ABB Ability Genix. Okay, thanks. And um, I mean, uh, maybe you can comment beside all the technical things about how was it working for you as a 100,000 plus employee company with a 60 people company from Austria originally? That's been working actually very well. So we have had a dedicated uh, development team working with a great team, a very collab in a co collaborative fashion. So it's easy to work with and uh, also proactively supporting and everything. So happy with the, with the working together. Thanks. And likewise, by the way. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so let's come to the last slide, uh, which is what were the key learnings and the takeaway um, that we would like to give the audience here. So Marco, maybe you can summarize what CreateDB enabled for you in, in, in Genix. Yeah. Yeah, so CreateDB is an important enabler for us to work with uh, advanced uh, data analysis and data management uh, capabilities. So we have in those use cases around AI, ML, and application-centric use cases a critical enabler. So the important points are around the scalability in the data ingestion and also in the flexible uh, data models and deployment models and with AI-generated um, uh, use cases. And in, in summary, for um, the audience, what does Genix really do in one line for your customers? So in, in a nutshell, we are integrating data from multiple data sources, contextualizing that to specific industry, and then we are combining the data-centric and physics-centric models to drive outcomes in our customers, analytical and AI-centric insights to our customers, and business value in, the, in different industries. Thanks. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed this insight. I'm, uh, I'm very thankful, Marco, that you came here and, and shared all this. Um, for us, this is really a fantastic use case. It's industrial data at massive scale. It ships roaming around. It's maybe an edge device on a motor. Um, and, and just have this full spectrum of edge and cloud and any hybrid thing in the middle. Um, and we're very proud. It was a big day for us, obviously, when we won this tender. And um, it's a defining thing for a company uh, in our size. So I hope you got some insights into how we do real-time analytics. And um, I would like to invite you, if you're interested, we're over there at uh, the booth, C53. Uh, please stop by if we can answer some questions for you. We will be going there uh, right after the meeting now, uh, right after the talk now. So thank you for taking the time to come here.